I call it the missing link as well as the great imitator. Because what I find are these tick-borne diseases mimic other things, right? So you just won't understand it. And then you treat the infectious process and then those symptoms of fatigue, of anxiety, depression, joint pain, cognitive impairment, even dementia presentations get better, but you definitely won't know until you look. Now, the good thing, the good thing about these organisms is that they cause different kind of physical symptoms as well as systemic symptoms. So sometimes patients who have chronic tick-borne diseases, they might present with, you know, pain, but they also might just present with nebulous fatigue. Or by the time they've come to my office, man, they've been seen by so many other doctors misdiagnosed as anxiety. Sometimes I'll see them misdiagnosed even with autoimmune disease because these organisms target the immune system and make them compromise. And when I'm doing my digging, right, even in patients because they can be misdiagnosed due to Lyme causing autoimmune disease with things like even a serious multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's, hormone suppression, that all is contributed to by these organisms. I'm like, wait, let me look at their brain and I see this inflammatory pattern. 